so we are trying to print a part on here that you can't print with these other print heads in and there's not any real good instructions as to how you disassemble this so here's the steps so the first step is there is a notch over here on this side that you have to line not the rail up with but you have to line the print heads up with this because they're going to need to slide all the way over this way so the first thing that you got to do is come down here to the panel and we're going to push the button and then we're going to go down here to move and push the button again Oop, i went the wrong way go back to move push and then we're going to come down here and tell it to move y fast because the back and forth is y so we're going to move y fast and then we're going to push the button and then what happens is as you're turning the button this thing is going to move back and forth so when when we go in here i'll do it here so when we go in here and start moving the button back and forth this piece will move back and forth so we got to line that up so that it is sitting about where it needs to be so that it'll actually slide into that groove. So once we get that done, the next thing is this piece is actually in here wrapping. I've got these pieces flipped upside down so that I can keep all of the screws at the moment, but this piece actually flips 180 degrees and goes under the belt. So I took these screws loose, flipped this thing over because I have to get it out from under the belt. And then the next thing is the piece that's actually holding it on, which I guess now that I think about it, if we'd have taken these two loose off and pulled this all the way off, we wouldn't even have had to flip these over. So I think that you can cancel taking this off, just leave them like they are. Take the two screws loose up here on the top, slide this off of the belt, and then just set these aside. So that's the two screws on the top. Then the next thing you're gonna do is, you don't have to take these all the way out, but you're gonna loosen these two screws so that this thing will, will lay over. Because all we're doing is we're trying to lay this cable out of the way. Um, and also you're gonna have to take, if you've got one that's got the fan on here, you're gonna have to take the bolt out of the fan so that the fan gets out of the way. That you may be able to, you may be able to, um, line this thing up where you can get it out with the fan on there but i'm not totally sure let's try that real quick just to see so i'm going to go back over here to the move and we're going to go back to the y move y that's home move y and then i'm going to Yeah, there's really no way you're gonna get that off with the fan. So you're gonna to have to take the fan off, just lay it over here on the front. And then what you're gonna do is lay this guy over and you can see the rail ends right here. So we're just gonna slide that until it comes off of the rail. And it looks like we need to go back the other way. So you just gotta get it lined up here where you can get this all the way off of the rail and you have to be you don't want to force this off and then once it gets to the end there it should come off now you'll notice there's a bunch of ball bearings in here on the top and bottom and they got a little piece that's holding them in so you don't want to force this off you want to just kind of very easily take it off of the thing and then I have not done it yet, but there is a, an STL file that's on the website for um, this printer that you print out a piece that you can actually mount these things to so that you don't have to have them hanging around. Um, but the problem with this is that in order to get enough room, depending on if you're going to move the whole, if you're going to use the whole uh, table, then you're gonna to have to remove all of these things. If you're gonna, like, I'm trying to print a 10 inch piece, so I really only need to remove one of them, and then I can slide all these guys down here out of the way, and then everything should be fine on the, on print what I've gotta print. So, but depending on what you gotta do, you may have to remove all three of these, and then I gotta figure out what this STL file is, because there's a piece that actually lets me mount this to it 
so that I don't have to disconnect all of these pieces. 